Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Thank you for watching this video. Today, we're gonna compare two of the most popular four-wheel heavy-duty mobility scooters. I have here to your right the S4. It's the Athos Scooter S4, so it's got four wheels. It can handle up to 500 pounds and it's made by Afikim. Now, over here on your left-hand side, I have the EW46. It can handle up to 400 pounds and it's made by E-Wheels. These are two of the most popular options for individuals that are shopping for a high-speed, high-travel range, four-wheel, heavy-duty mobility scooter that can carry a pretty good load. And I wanna talk about the main differences, not only between the two brands and the build quality that they're known for, the warranty support that they offer, but also the specifications of each so that you can make a more educated decision when shopping for either of these two models. Before I go any further, I wanna mention two things. Number one, if you want a copy of our free product catalog, just go to our website, Mobility Direct, and click on the green tab at the top of every page that says free catalog, Fill out the simple short form and one will be in your mailbox within one to two weeks tops. Something else I wanna mention is that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, not only will you get notified when we release new awesome videos like this, but you're automatically also gonna get entered into the giveaway. We give away a mobility scooter several times per year and all you have to do to join the giveaway is subscribe. You're already here, it takes no time, it's free. Just click that subscribe button and you could be the next lucky winner. I'm gonna throw the last winner on the screen for you to check it out, just so you know it's legit, and we'll be right back with you. We're actually giving this one uh, to one of the residents here on the third floor, it might be your neighbor. Yeah, yeah, they entered into a giveaway raffle and they won. That's why we're getting it on camera. Exactly, oh yep. my gosh! I'm so happy for you! <laughs> Hello. Good to meet you. Here. Yeah. This is so, I'm just we're here with Gloria, and she's got her scooter that we're donating, and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel about a year ago. <laughs> I said it's a godsend that I got this. It's a miracle, really. I needed it desperately. Well, it's, it's something we're really happy to be able to do, Gloria. Thank and, you. And we really appreciate those kind words. and. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is subscribe. This is what we're doing here every six months. So if you know somebody else that could use one, please tell them about it. All right. So hopefully you subscribed and good luck to you if you did. Hopefully you can win that free mobility scooter next time we announce the next winner. And I'm going to dive into the differences between the Afikim brand, which is the brand that makes the Afikim scooter, and the E-Wheels brand, which is the brand that's behind the EW46. Before I go too deep into the brands, I just want to point out that both of these models are available in a three-wheel configuration. So we have the S3 and the EW36. So if you want something that can turn a little sharper, check those out. I'll put the links in the description below. And they're basically the same, only one wheel in the front, so it's going to turn a little bit better. Uh, the four-wheel version is a little bit more stable, especially when going on terrain that's not really flat. But as far as the brands and the manufacturing company behind the brand, Afikim is the only manufacturer in the world, pretty much, to offer a two-year in-home service agreement, which means if anything goes wrong and it's covered by warranty, you don't have to worry about a thing. Afikim, the manufacturer, will dispatch a technician to your home to service the scooter and to repair it. So not only will you get replacement parts, under the warranty, but there's a service agreement which is separate to cover the technician labor and travel time to come to your home. That speaks volume to the build confidence that they have in their quality of their builds. If you just look at this machine, you can tell right away that it's built really well. It's gonna come with some of the most reliable components. We barely get any service requests for this model. This is the S4. It has the dual wide seat, which is an upgrade. It also has the weather canopy, which is an upgrade, but you can do so much more. You can put huge off-road tires for the rear, which will make this scooter capable of going on the beach, which we'll throw on the screen for a second for you to see. It's an amazing scooter. It really is truly one of the most dependable scooters on the market. Whether you get the four-wheel version, the three-wheel version, they also make a compact version 
So this is the S model. You can get the C model, which is the compact version, which I'll throw on the screen for a moment. The difference is it's a little bit more compact. It only holds up to 400 pounds, whereas this one can hold up to 600 pounds if you upgrade the suspension. With the stock option, it can hold 500 pounds. So again, Apicam is just known to be one of the best brands in the world when it comes to making mobility scooters. We have a ton of customers that have bought these scooters decades ago. That's right, decades ago. We've had customers that have purchased an Apa scooter over 20 years ago. And as long as you keep changing the batteries, usually these things last without really any repairs. Sure, you might have to change the tire. And of course, like I said, the batteries need to be changed every few years. But I'll take the time to mention one thing while we're talking about batteries. We are the only dealer in the country, that's right, the only dealer in the country that offers lithium battery upgrades so you can purchase this mobility scooter with lithium batteries and guess what? You can get up to 100 miles per charge on the S4 if you upgrade to the 135 amp hour lithium batteries. We're actually making a video by the time you're watching this, the video will probably be on our YouTube channel, so check it out. Go to the Afikim Mobility Scooter playlist on our YouTube channel and you're gonna see we have tons of videos. Torture test videos, travel range testing videos with the lithium battery upgrades. No other dealer can offer the lithium battery upgrades without voiding the warranty. Afikim has partnered with us and they said, you know what? For you, we're gonna let you offer lithium battery upgrades and it will not void the warranty. If you do purchase this mobility scooter through any other dealer and you put lithium batteries in it, you will void your warranty. So keep that in mind and give us a call. We have non-commissioned sales experts standing by ready to answer any questions you have about the lithium upgrades or any upgrade. Now, moving on to the E-Wheels EW46. E-Wheels is a brand that is known for producing fast and pretty mobility scooters. You can see on our website there are several color options and just look at this scooter. I mean, it looks like a Batmobile. It's pretty awesome looking um, and that's what E-Wheels is known for. They make really pretty looking scooter that, pretty looking scooters that are more sporty, high speed and built to go long distances on sidewalks and on paved roads. They don't really make scooters that are meant for heavy duty off-road and rugged terrain. These scooters are mainly good for street cruising long distances at high speeds. So again, uh, E-Wheels is really known for those high speed long commute scooters that really look sporty. The warranty not as great compared to Afikim. They don't offer any kind of in-home service agreement. So unless you're purchasing a service agreement separately, which costs extra, you're not gonna get a service agreement with this at all. And again, Afikim offers a two year and we're currently offering a promotion to give you three years for free on the Afikim scooters. So if you get an E-Wheel scooter, you have to be mechanically inclined or at least have somebody that you can rely on to service it when you need a tire change, battery change, or if something goes wrong with it. You do get a parts warranty. You do get a structural warranty which covers the structural components for three years, but all of the other stuff, it's limited. You only get a one year warranty for the electrical components and about a two month warranty for the battery. With the lithium batteries on the Afikim scooters, believe it or not, you get an 11 year warranty, which is amazing. And that's for the lithium. No lithium upgrades are available for this model or this brand. So those are some of the main differences between Afikim and E-Wheels, which again are the manufacturing companies behind the brands. So if you're looking for something that's simply gonna be used on flat pavement sidewalks and you're gonna go long distances and you want something a little bit more affordable, E-Wheels is probably going to be the better choice. The EW46 is very comparable to the EW72, which we're going to throw on the screen and show you a little bit about that scooter. It's almost identical to this. It's just a little bit bigger, goes a little bit further, a little bit better on the weight capacity. So check that out if you want something that can hold a little more and do a little bit more distance. But again, if I were you, I'd stick to E-wheels only if you're gonna be using it on pavement and not really going up inclines or uneven terrain, especially on grass. I mean, we've got a little bit of an incline here. 
there's no chance the e-wheels will make it up that incline, not even close. The Africam scooters can go up really steep inclines and I'm gonna throw a few videos on the screen to just show you what it's capable of. I mean, this thing can go over all kinds of debris. If you've got a lot that has a bunch of sticks and palm ferns on the ground and it's super uneven, this thing has the ground clearance and the power. It has a 1400 watt brushless motor. It's 24 volts. It runs off of two 12 volt batteries. Whereas the EW46 has a 500 watt motor, which is almost a third of the power. Also, these scooters have four 12 volt batteries. It runs off of 48 volts, but the amp hour capacity on them are much lower. So you have four smaller batteries as opposed to two big ones. So 48 volt system with a 500 watt motor compared to a 24 volt system with a 1400 watt motor. They both have 16 inch tires in the rear, but on the front, the Afa scooter has 13 inch tires and on the front, of the e-wheels it has 16 inch tires so these tires are pretty big they're air inflatable they both have full suspension on the front and the rear so as far as the smoothness of the ride they're both pretty smooth uh, if you upgrade the the Afa scooter to have the off-road gt tires there's really nothing that this thing can't handle it'll go over some of the most aggressive terrain possible Something else I want to talk about are the seat options. On the EW46, you really don't have any seat options. What you see is what you get. It does slide forward and back. It has flip up armrests, height adjustable headrest, and it does recline quite a bit actually. I would say out of all the mobility scooters and the scooters that we carry, this seat actually reclines the furthest. So that is something that the EW46 has going for it, and it has a rear basket attached to it, which is comes with it, um, but you cannot rotate the seat. So that's one drawback. You can slide it forward and back. You can recline it pretty far, flip up armrest, but no seat rotation. No other options either, so you can upgrade it. If 18 inches wide, which is what this is, if that's too narrow for you, you're kind of out of options. Now, if you come on over to the Afa Scooter S4, you obviously notice there's a double seat here for two people. So the dual wide seat is 33 inches, but you can actually get a 18 inch, 20 inch, 22 inch, and a 24 inch wide single person seat. So you have tons of seat options. With the dual wide seat, it doesn't adjust forward or back, it doesn't rotate, it does have a height adjustable headrest, but that's about it. If you get the standard captain seat, whether it's the 18 inch, the 20 inch, the 24, the 22 inch wide, they do have the sliders to go forward and back and you can rotate the seat, which is nice. It also has armrests. We took them out for this video, but it does have flip up armrests as well. And with the standard seat, as long as you don't have this big canopy with the braces in the back, you can recline the seat, just not as far as the EW46. Both of these scooters have the option to get rear cargo storage containers, but with the Afikim, you can put a rear locking storage container, whereas the EW46 just has a cage style basket. It's not lockable. Now, while we're on the subject of storage, I do want to mention that the EW46 actually has an underseat storage. So if you need underseat storage and that's something you're kind of fixed on. As you can see, if you lift up the seat, there's a nice little storage in there, which is lockable built in. So with that under seat storage and the rear basket, you do have a pretty good amount of storage here. Something else that I want to mention now that I have the keys in my hand is that this scooter has an alarm. The Afa scooter does not. It also has the option to do remote start. So you don't really need to use the key and turn the ignition to get it going. If you have your key fob, you can remote start it. And the alarm is pretty nice. I'm gonna lock it now and show you the alarm. Once I move this scooter, it's gonna go off and it's pretty loud and it's really good for anti-theft purposes. There you go. So I just hit the unlock button and it's off. Now, while we're here, the Afa scooter and the EW46 do have two completely different dashes. The way you operate the scooter is gonna be completely different. On the EW46, it comes standard without any automatic brakes, which means you do have to rely on manual hand brakes, which takes hand strength to slow it down. Now you can pay extra for automatic brakes, but it's not included like the Afa scooter. On the Afa scooter, you basically just let go of the throttle and it starts to brake right away. 
So braking is automatic, you don't have to worry about it. On the EW, it's, it's manual. So if you're stuck on a hill and you run out of battery, guess what? It's rolling down that hill. So for safety, the Atha scooter is a better bet. Now, there is a forward and a reverse switch, which is very similar to the S4, which is made by Aficam. So you have to control whether you're in forward or reverse mode and then pull back on this twist throttle, which can be switched from the right side to the left side if you want, but you have to con put the switch on forward or reverse to control the forward and reverse motion. There's also a speed one, two, and three switch to limit the top speed. This scooter can go about 13 miles per hour, whereas the Atha scooters go about nine and a half miles per hour, give or take half a mile per hour. So here you have the light, you have one of the light switches here on the right side to control the lights, and then on the left you have another light switch, so you can actually control the lights to go on and off, switch from high beam to low beam mode, and then you have your turn signals here. So it's kind of like a dirt bike or motorcycle, you go left or right to turn the turn signals on and then click in the middle to turn them off. It does come with a horn, which is not bad. Go ahead and test it out for you. It's pretty loud compared to the Atha scooter. Now also on the Atha scooter and this EW46, you do have a locking brake system over here, which we'll zoom in on for you. So if you hold this back all the way and then you push this tab back, the brakes are locked in. So if you're parked on a hill, you have a parking brake. You also have a built-in cup holder down here and a little bit of extra storage area down there to put your personal belongings. The charging port is down here, right where above the leg rest towards the back area where the battery compartment is, so it's pretty easy to access. All right, so on the front of the EW46, you're gonna notice it doesn't have LED lights, it has halogen lights, which are not as powerful as the Aficam light, which as you can see, it has really nice LED lights, kind of like the ones that you see on off-road vehicles or trucks. This lighting system really outperforms the EW lighting system, but on the front end of the EW46, I will say that the brush guard looks super nice, look really sporty, you can see the suspension. So if you're into the looks, I have to say the front end of the EW46 does look better. Now, performance-wise, let's talk about the S4 and the specifications, starting with the front end. On the front end of the Atha scooter, it has more of a clean, minimalistic design. Again, the really nice headlights. You can order these lights if you want. They work as strobe lights, they're programmable. They work with several different colors. But the front end of this scooter without the weather canopy, as you can see, just looks a little bit more traditional, like a medical grade scooter, which is what makes it an FDA approved scooter, whereas the EW46 is not. So if you are into the looks, maybe the EW46 is the winner, but the Aficam is definitely safer with the automatic brakes, and it just feels really, really sturdy when you're driving this thing. I can tell you from experience, this scooter is very easy to control. It has these ergonomic handles on the grips. You don't have a twist throttle, which can be hard to control, especially when you're going off-road. What you have on the right here is a throttle lever. So if you pull the lever, it is sensitive to the touch. If you just pull it a little bit, it goes slow. The further you pull, the faster it goes. It has a forward and reverse switch, just like the EW46, and it has a half speed and a full speed switch to limit the speed. So you have two speed modes, whereas the EW has three. The horn on the S4 does not really compete with the EW, so if you want a good horn, I doubt it's a deal breaker, but the horn's not as impressive. Now, what's nice on the Aficam scooter dash is that you can adjust the tilt. You cannot do that on the EW. So, in terms of comfort adjustments, you have the tiller adjust that tilts forward and back. You can slide the seats forward. You can rotate the seats, uh, as long as you don't have this big dual seat, of course. So, coming on to the other side of the dash, on the left side of the dash, you have the light switch, you have the turn signals, just like the EW scooter, and another horn. You do have two USB charging ports, and the scooter's battery charging port is way high up here, which is easier to reach. You don't have to bend down like on the EW46. You do have a digital dash, completely digital, just like the EW, and two built-in cup holders down here, which is great, especially if you have the two-person seat. Something else I wanna point out about the front end of this scooter is it does have a locking storage, so you can lock this up just like the under seat storage of the EW46. And in the back, 
you have a couple of different options. You can get a large storage crate or the rear cage style basket, just like most scooters. With this back strap here and the bars for the weather canopy, you can't get the one inch hitch receiver that comes on the standard seats. There's a little square hitch receiver that's used for universal accessories like a rear cage style basket. You can get a golf club holder, oxygen tank holder, and all kinds of universal accessories. Or you can mount the rear cargo storage to these holes right here and we have options. But with the single person seat, you have that one inch hitch receiver in the back that gives you a lot more options. All right, so if you wanna see full specifications, go to our website. I'm gonna put the links in the descriptions below and you can see all of the specifications. You can download user manuals and see all of our awesome pictures and videos of both products. We have ride along videos on our other YouTube channel, which is titled Mobility Scooter Sales. I highly recommend subscribing to that channel too, which is more about mobility news and first person view ride along videos where we take you on a ride on various types of terrains, including grocery stores, off-road with both of these scooters. So check out both of our channels and our website, Mobility Direct, to see way more information about these products. Again, don't forget to subscribe or claim a copy of your free catalog. I hope that this video has educated you a bit so that you can shop with confidence now that you know a little bit more about these two models. Again, there are several other models made by Atha Scooter and EW, which is E-Wheels, like the EW72 by E-Wheels or the C3 and the C4 by Athicam. I highly recommend checking those out. My name is Sergio, I'm with Mobility Direct. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com and click on the green button that says free catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just wanna take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please, feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic, we love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.